Today, Governor Glenn Youngkin released his two-year budget plan. The proposal includes cutting income tax while raising the sales tax. Dana Smith joins us in the studio with what these changes could mean for you. That's right, Dan. Tax reform is a big part of Governor Youngkin's new budget. He wants car taxes off the table, an increase in sales tax, and a cut in income taxes for all Virginians. We have reduced the, the, the personal income tax rate across the board. Governor Glenn Youngkin calling his new budget proposal bold and innovative. On the table, cutting state income taxes by 12 percent across the board. He said the state's highest income bracket would drop from 5.75 percent to 5.1. The lowest tax bracket would drop from 2 percent to 1.75 percent. To offset these cuts, the governor is proposing a 0.9 percent increase in the sales tax from 4.3 percent to 5.2. The governor is also calling for personal property car taxes to be eliminated. The car tax belongs in the trash can, not in your mailbox. He said getting rid of it is something he wants to work with lawmakers on. It is by far the most hated tax, and it may be the most hated element of living in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Senate Democrats calling Youngkin's budget disgraceful and a slap in the face. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Virginia Senate Democratic Caucus said, we are smart enough and bold enough to know that his speech was the highlight reel and that he omitted the dirty details of his plan. Governor Youngkin believes that ensuring more tax cuts for wealthier individuals is most beneficial. Youngkin today saying he's aware of concerns that a lower income tax and higher sales tax could hurt lower income Virginians. And that's why we included an increase in the earned income tax credit so that in fact there would be there would be support for Virginians uh, who are on the lower income scale. In addition to tax reform, his budget also features funding increases for child care, mental health initiatives and teacher pay. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. And nothing set in stone yet. The budget must be approved by the General Assembly. It convenes on January 10th.